Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and the Restless recap for Thursday, September 21, suggests that Jack Abbott approaches Billy Abbott after noticing him conversing with David Winters at the Society. Jack questions Billy's decision to discuss Tucker McCall with Devin behind his back. Billy maintains that he never committed to be silent. He is positive that he made the correct decision. Billy claims he informed Devon of Ashley Abbott and Tucker's feud. Jack is skeptical that it will make a difference. Worse, Devon may warn Tucker that they are on their way to him. Billy suggests that it might be a good thing. The brothers dispute about Tucker until Diane Jenkins intervenes. Jack considers firing Billy and letting him go after Billy walks away. He believes he is on a path to self-destruction. Billy goes to the jazz lounge to drink and ponder about his dispute with Jack. He pulls out his phone and texts Tucker, asking to meet to address an important matter. Kyle Abbott meets with Audra Charles at GCAC. He smiles at her and tells her how much he's missed seeing her outside of work. Audra claims she's been overworked. Kyle claims to be patient, implying that she is worth the wait. Nikki Newman notices Audra and Kyle sitting together and remarks on how close they appear to be. Audra takes cover and claims they're talking business. Nikki demands to know what they are discussing. They comprise some crucial business material. Nikki is skeptical. Nikki pulls Audra aside and tells her that communicating with Kyle outside of Newman Media is difficult. Audra reveals she still has feelings for Kyle but follows Nikki's rules. According to the Young and the Restless spoilers, Nikki doubts Kyle has the same restraint. She believes it is best if Kyle is removed from Newman. Audra tries to persuade Nikki not to fire Kyle, but her words fall on deaf ears. Nikki informs Audra that she considered firing her as well, but chose to give her another chance. Nikki instructs Audra to inform Kyle that he is no longer employed. Victor Newman of Newman Enterprises informs Lely Winters, that the new investment would be disclosed soon. He begs her to believe in him. Victor will only say that this individual approached him and that CW is important to them. Victoria Newman comes in and interrupts their talk. Victoria queries Lily's presence in the workplace after she leaves. Victoria refuses to explain herself. She is taken aback to find that he once possessed Chancellor Winter's stock and had recently sold it. According to Lai and our teasers, Victoria looks at where her photograph used to hang. She wonders why he took hers down to put up his. Victoria believes he is punishing her but is unsure why. Victor informs Victoria that the company is fractured and she is to blame. Victoria believes her father set her up to fail. Victor expected her to collaborate with her brothers to form a united front, but that never happened. Victoria holds her father responsible for Nick Newman's departure. Victor explains to his daughter that Newman Enterprises is more important than her emotions. He explains that her emotions are unimportant. She has the option to leave if she disagrees with the way he is doing things. Victoria claims that if she departs Northeast, the entire organization will crumble. Nikki hurries into the office to investigate the commotion. Nikki believes they don't need to resolve this right now because she and Victor are going on vacation. Victor is adamant about staying in town. He claims that the changes are immediate, it's his company and anything he says is final. After Victor storms out, Nikki questions Victoria on why she's deliberately upsetting Victor. Victoria claims that her father is constantly changing the rules. Devin and Lily meet at the penthouse. According to the young and the restless spoilers, she speculates on who the new shareholder might be. She claims Victor never gave her any information. Divin disagrees with Lily over the identity of the new owner. He doesn't believe Tucker is interested in CW. Furthermore, the shares would not provide him with a controlling ownership. According to Lai and our teasers, Devin stated that he had an odd talk with Billy. Devin informs him that her ex-husband warned him that Tucker is more dangerous than ever. They all believe that Billy is most likely simply stirring the pot. Lily is concerned that Tucker is involved. She warns her brother not to dismiss Tucker. Devin recognizes and agrees, but is certain that Tucker is not the guy. Audra finds Kyle at the park and informs him that Nikki suspects they are secretly dating. They cannot continue in this manner. 
Kyle suggests being more cautious and not meeting in public. Nikki orders Audra to dismiss him after she delivers the crushing blow. She tells Kyle coldly that their professional and personal relationship is done. Kyle goes to the GCAC bar to drink and reflect on his life's path. Victor follows him. Kyle is upset because Audra dismissed him. Kyle is informed by Victor that he does not belong at Newman, but rather at Jebat. According to the Young and the Restless spoilers on Friday, September 22, Audra Charles gives Kyle Abbott a reality check. Kyle contacts Audra to find out why she ended their relationship. He believes they have chemistry and wishes to continue seeing her in private. Audra is adamant about not breaking any of Nikki Newman's regulations. She requests that he does not contact her again. She sees no reason to speak to him again. Tucker McCall meets with Phyllis Summers to reveal Billy Abbott's intentions. Tucker believes Billy has gone rogue and is plotting against Jack Abbott. According to Y and R spoilers, Tucker wants to inspect Billy's bank records. He believes Billy was paid to furnish Jabot with records. Tucker is unsure who Billy is working with, but Abbott's financial records may provide some insight. Phyllis wonders why Tucker cares if his marriage to Ashley Abbott fails. Tucker claims it's a personal matter for me. He will constantly keep an eye out for Ashley. Jabot is significant to her. Even though Tucker seems sincere, Phyllis is unsure whether she can believe his story. It's difficult for her to imagine Billy would betray Jack in this manner. Phyllis, on the other hand, agrees to obtain Billy's financial details. She must use the life insurance benefit to pay off her debts. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Jack holds firm with Billy. He invites his brother to meet him for a drink. Jack expresses his dissatisfaction with how things are going between them. Jack must fire him from Jabat and replace him with Kyle. Billy lashes out at Jack, blaming him of not believing in him. Billy is perplexed as to why he hired him to run Jabat alongside him in the first place, if he intended to get rid of him the moment Kyle requested his job back. According to the young and the restless teasers, friction between Jack and Billy will rise. After Jack uncovers dishonesty at Jabot, things will heat up. Why do you believe Tucker wants Billy's financial information, Y and R fans? According to the young and the restless spoilers, Tucker McCall and Ashley Abbott may be secretly working together to deceive the Abbots. Tucker flew back to Geno City without Ashley, carrying the story about how they had broken up. However, his story is confusing. Ashley's rendition of their final argument is even more illogical. It's doubtful that the couple would call it quits and give up their dream of power after months of conspiring to take over Jabod and plans to seize it from Jack Abbott. Ashley has an edge in staging a Tucker breakup. Jack enjoys playing the role of the hero. He would take on the role of protector and strive tirelessly to keep Ashley safe from Tucker. Ashley would be able to plan their next move from the inside. The only thing that puzzles me about this scenario is why Tucker would sleep with Audra Charles if his breakup with Ashley is a ruse. Tucker is well aware that this would be a deal-breaker for Ashley. Ashley might have told him to make sure everyone believed their breakup was legitimate. What better way to establish a breakup than a tryst with the town's largest man-eater, Audra? According to the young and the restless spoilers, Ashley is not being totally honest with Jack and Abby Newman, Tucker was portrayed as violent and unable to understand her loyalty to Jabot. The issue with her story is that Tucker has never showed the why and our audience a violent side. Sure, he has random outbursts and is unpredictable. He has not, however, shown any signs of violence. Tucker works by being cunning and manipulating others. Tucker informs Billy Abbott, Jason Thompson, on Tuesday's episode that he is the only rational Abbott. Tucker was attempting to get Billy to join him in order to obtain information from Jabot. Tucker, unfortunately, has the ability to persuade Billy to turn against Jack and Diane Jenkins. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Ashley and Tucker faked their split. They plotted to use their divorce to influence the Abbots into forcing Jack out of Jabot from within. Do you think Ashley and Tucker are faking their separation, Y and R fans? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.